Hello everyone, I appreciate y'all and hope you're having a good day. Today's video I want to discuss the things that I have learned this six plus months since Tung Chinook arrived here and we've been married. All of these things are very important and I feel will help you in your relationship. I'm going to start with number four and work my day way down to what I feel is the most important thing I've learned thus far. So let's begin with number four. You're not just her fiance or husband. You must also be her best friend. Now that doesn't sound bad, right? Of course, that means doing everything together. Now, you're thinking, okay, no earth shattering lesson here. Sounds great. You want to be her best friend. But in my case, I put Tung Chinook into the girly girl classification, meaning her favorite thing to do besides cooking is shopping and doing makeup. Now, being her best friend, that means I also have to go shopping because that's what best friends do for one another, right? Now, if you know me, and I assume most guys, going and spending two or three hours at the mall ain't the most ideal way to spend a Saturday or a Sunday. And I'm not going to lie, I have a hard time with this one, and I do need <laughs> to put some effort into it. Now, right, so number three is sarcasm and joking around. Tung Chinook doesn't understand it at all, which has led to me unintentionally pissing her off. You see, I like to joke and push the buttons of people that I'm close to. So this is another thing that I have to be mindful of. Now, as time has passed, you know, she's learned me and my behavior. But in the beginning, I won't lie, this did cause some arguments. So number two is going to be communication. Now, most of you have heard Tung Chinook on the videos, and her English is pretty good, and she's getting better. And I think by this time next year, she's going to be fluent. But this has led to some miscommunication, and the lesson I've learned is I must put some time to make sure that we both understand each other and what we're saying, because 99% of the arguments that we've had have come from one of us misunderstanding what the other is trying to express. All right, so now we're to the most important one that I want to discuss. And it's hard to put a label on it. So the best way I'm going to describe this is you have to put yourself in your fiance's shoes. Okay, so number one, they are leaving the country everything and everyone that they've ever known to be with you, all right? There's going to be times when they're here that they feel utterly alone and vulnerable. Lots of crazy things can enter the mind at these times. Let's take, for example, that you do something that annoys her, but she doesn't want to say anything because she fears that you're going to kick her out on the street. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the kind of irrational thinking that enters the mind in these times when feeling this way. You know, when Tung Chinook told me at times she felt this way, I was dumbfounded at, the, at first. The thought of me ever kicking her out and abandoning her was absurd to me. She told me she knew I would never do that, but that I needed to understand this is not her country. She knows no one but me, and at times she feels vulnerable, and she's totally dependent upon me. What if something happened and we was no longer together? What would she do? Where would she go? When I understood that part of it, I could see how crazy ideas could creep into her thoughts. I had no good answer for her at that time. All I could do was hold her and love her, because I never wanted her feeling that way. Thankfully now, you know, her business 
doing good. She's making money. She feels that she's contributing to the family. And I've never seen her this happy. I'm very proud of her. But more importantly, over time, as she starts to make this money and her business grows, that dependency that she feels for me is going to lessen and eventually go away. And so will this fear. In closing, I'm going to say this. Communication and patience is the most important things. And of course, knowing when to shut your mouth and listen to what she's trying to tell you. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Oh, one more thing before I go. Milton and Mike, a big congratulations to both of you. And we are very happy. Great news. Getting the interviews, approvals. You're going to be with your fiance soon, hopefully before Christmas. Best of luck, guys. Till next time. See ya.